Oh, hi there! I haven't seen you come! <laughs> hey there, everyone, this is Outcal playing uh, Megalex 2, and last time I think we uh, finished this row here. World uh, 13, one row out of three, and something happened to my chair. I feel like I can't lean back as comfortably as usual, like I was kind of like gonna lose my balance or something. <laughs> That's besides the point! This cute cat here lives in the 122nd place by Didokoaf! Did a cope, Blarg Citadel. Uh, straight 60s, straight mid to high 60s, actually, it's pretty good. Two exit, the princess is involved, and oh, it's this Blarg sign, don't wanna go there. Alright, alright. This is the pathway we go up um, on into. Oh man, that castle's made out of lava. I. <laughs> that's not a. Uh, Okay, that looks pretty dangerous. Nice, nice, nicely drawn windows, though. <laughs> they, they had the best artists available to draw those windows in. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is a level that exploits the princess' ability to, you know, make really callous decisions that have far-reaching political impact without thinking too much about it as some form of commentary. Her entire life is a commentary. It's it's kind of sad because you know all she ever wants to do is be a normal real girl and have you know be something else other than commentary and be an actual living person. But that's just not within her reach. I keep getting the drag the, the red coins because I'm like oh maybe the red coins are meaningful. But I think they just mean that a potable lives there. <laughs> oh jeez, ah, crenellation are scary when they burn. Dragon coins. It's all dragon coins. It's dragon coins, son! They shine on bright and live forever. No, that's very clever, non word using way of saying, yo, that's why you got it. This is a short level. It's a short, punchy level. Knows what it's doing. Dragon! Gonna wear her hat on my head! I wonder if there's a dragon coin way up there because the screen does scroll a bit up. I lost my mushroom like a duck. And now it's high in the evening and I quack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, so I don't think I saw five Dagada, Digadon, Digadon, Dagadigalilanongs. They're, uh, they're hidden. They are subtle. Cause that's some of those. There's one over there, three, four, yeah, I think. You need to Whoa! Well anyways, yeah, I think you need to uh you know eat soup. Okay, okay, so and these here, that's 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 pretty nice. What uh I okay, so what the hell man? Well now I'm gonna die. So to get rid of her hover, hover a little bit, drop, hold a button, hold a button, drop <laughs> So, okay, so, okay, so, okay, so to describe what you need to do, you hold up a little bit to use up our hover, then let go of the jump button, but before you hit the first Goomba, re-hold the jump button, keep the jump button held while you bounce on the three Koopas, let go after you hop on the third one, but after you reach a maximum hype so you can glide, let go of the jump button just before you land on this Koopa here and re-hold it again to bounce up here. If it sounds complicated, it's because it really is more complicated than it should be. Oh man. But okay, it, it, it was a finger puzzle and... I'm gonna scrub another... The, the actual level is supposed to be this. Is supp
Okay, I appreciate a warning of the red coins, but... Can only do so much. Ah! Especially when, like, here, where you need to... Oh my god. Come just put yourself in danger, but I'm in a much better shape than last time. Ah! Ah! Oh well, I guess I got some training to how to do that. So you need to do something insane like this. Yes! Pipe that goes inside the, the molten core of the Blar Castle. So yeah, it's a... And you can't use the pipe to come back. <laughs> Good job, Ditto. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's a little punchy level that gets its meat through the dragon coin hunch. Which I can respect, and... I don't think that it'll build... I don't know, though. Like, you build the secondary... Let's read the judge, see if I'm... Is it his first level? Really? Uh Trying to search and find a first. It might take a whole playthrough, so that's well done. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. It's like, that was a very personal failing there. So please judge appropriately, but wow, I think I discovered a new high pressure anti button. Normally, like this tiny level ended up taking the recording time of a full video, but I'm aware there's not enough meat for one, so let's go ahead and do this one here. 101st by Gizo24. Go ahead, bake my day. Oh man, my wonderful Espinol accent there really shone through. Quill is a big fan. And uh, let's go. Two exits. Mario, it's gonna be a lava castle because we're baking, and the secret exit is gonna get getting dragon coins. Uh, this time he's producing. <laughs> <laughs> there are non compete laws in this land, Bowser, and you will comply! <laughs> the attic, huh? The attic is where the secret is exit is gonna be at. Alright, where's the attic? Are you the attic? I don't know. Are you addicted? That was really well played on my end. Wait, how does this work out? This is gonna be a hard level, isn't it? I regret everything about all of my life decisions. Is that cake worth it? I, uh, oh. Like, there's a way to do this. If you do this, then get killed forever. Cakes on a conveyor belt! Throw a fireball by accident! <laughs> That's what it's at. Up there is where they put all the delicious holes in sponge cakes. Oh, that Bowser supplying goods that people will enjoy. Probably wanna use. How do you get up there, though? I'm. Rude. Like, were you supposed to bounce on that poopa to be able to get up there? So you can melt and get that to get to the attic or something? Like, that's my prime... Theory at this point. Yeah, well, let's try and hit the moving block. Maybe it will tell a story about the future. Those are the stories I like the most. It gave me a cake instead. And then I bonk my head like an idiot, that's pretty great. The house. They make switch sounds! Hilarious. Alright, the corner is not a conveyor. This may come as a surprise to many. Alright, okay. Things are straining out. Things are starting to make sense. Gonna gobble up this cake made within the factory. It's factory fresh. It's delicious. Your thwomp, your opinions on this, please. Is that in the attic? How do you get up there? You need like a springboard or something. God dang it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll not think too much about it for now. I suppose there's many clues here and there as well. Uh, oh, geez. Hi there, Disco. What are you doing here? 
This is not the fun time room. It is serious. We are in an industrial environment. Plenty of delicious, low-cost pastries are being, you know, delectfully demonstrated. Whoa. That's totally what I wanted to do. That's totally what I set out to happen. What are talking about? Not me, no. Hey, Mr. Thwomp. Do you have a tongue? Probably ble not because you're made of stone. I I, I don't want to like insult you or anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm seeing these uh, banjo kazooie music cues. <laughs> I'm seeing these toads. There are the cakes made out of toads. Is that the story? Oh no! Who would have thought? Well, I mean. I don't know, it, or is, well, okay, I was about gonna ask, is mushroom, like, mushroom and cake good? With some amount of dubiousness, but I, then I thought of truffle. Are toad, like, toads are not tr truffle, though, they're like poisonous mushrooms. I don't know, man, I don't know, man, Bowser, he likes poison mushrooms. He, like, he eats death caps all the time, and then wonders why he gets sick, that's, that's his story arc. It's very complex. It took me years to write. All right, so you you be careful here. This is where they pound them. Mmm, delicious toads. This is where they smash a fool. This is where they slice up their pinkies. Oh no, a fireball. What will I? Well, what was what will I do? I just let it hit me I'm like an idiot. Dang it! The block moved. <laughs> Why would you do that, block? Why do you not respect my choices in life? <laughs> Just move on your own, like that, without even saying anything to me. Uh, how is this gonna work, yo? Like this? Where am I going here? Up or down, or all around, or in your frown, or upside down. Upside down cakes exist, so that counts as a joke! I'm outside the factory! Toads can just go eat themselves! <laughs> I agree! <laughs> I... Certainly. Certainly, Toad. Make sure to fatten yourself up now. No way, you don't put fat in the cake. That would be weird. You put flour! Are there flour people that we could use? What is more likely? That, that weird jump that I have trouble figuring out requires a weird awkwardly timed Koopa jump or that there's invisible blocks somewhere because this level has not shied oh what am I doing from invisible blocks oh this is sick. but I don't know if fireball slash P-switch is the solution or not, but I mean... What am I gonna do? Complain about it? Probably. <laughs> but, probably should aspire to do something a little bit more. Wow, I am just full of bad decisions right now. This isn't that hard. Cow of cow, what the hell are you doing? You stupid piece of butt. You can just do that jump, no problem, yo. Alright, stop getting hit here all the time now, okay? Or, or here, or something. Like, you just keep getting hit in the stupidest way as possible. I think I want a bullet with me, though, right? So then I can go here, and here, and here. Yeah, the. Why does everything. Okay, I got way back up. Okay, okay, okay. So I can try again and again. Man, I don't. This is the episode where secrets, exits, are giving me grief. Alright. So yeah, you're expected to use a bullet. No, but I waited too much. I had no momentum. I wouldn't have been able to keep up. This is hard, and the reset is super stressful because of that skeleton. 
Unless there's like a feather or something hidden somewhere. There we- TABARNAK! Stupid piece of garbage skeleton. There we go. Like, it's not hard. But it's infuriating when it doesn't work out. Mind you, I don't even know if this is what you're actually supposed to do. <laughs> but, I mean, the, t the hint was... Going to the attic is hard, that's kind of a hard little thing. I don't even know how the jump fail. I guess I... Bunk Monogan, maybe? I hope I don't need more fireballs. <sighs> you're, you're safe, you're over there. So what else, yo? My theory is that... Like, this is completely baseless. I thought there'd be another block there that I could use. So how do you get up there? So then where do you use the P-switch? It could be anywhere! <sighs> okay... I, uh... <sighs> this is not going my way. Now that stupid garden variety skeleton has ruined so many stupid runs. It's like it gives you chances. I oh, mean, the flower regrows, and I just never know that I have. All right, let's try and take this rationally here. I need to get up there. The clue was an attic. There's a block. There's a. It's a, it's a block. Okay. Okay, I'm going to gamble here. I'm going to press the P-switch here. So I can hit those coins blocks. See if there's any... Oh, well. There's my answer. Alright, okay. So... I had the... I hope there weren't any, like blocked away passage up there or anything, but I guess we'll find out in due time. So I had the right idea, just not the right detail. Oh my god, this game, sometimes, I can ju could just shoot it out of a cannon. It'd be great, because everyone would applaud me and going, oh my god, okay, thank you for finally shooting this game out of a cannon. Anyways, yeah. So that stays there. Alright, new stuff. And it's right here! Okay, so there's level still. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Alright, okay, so this is just where they, 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 they slice the bread. That's where they taste test the bread. This is where they... Yeah, okay, see? Okay, so it's not that bad. It's not... It's not... It's, uh, uh, Alright! Looking forward to a wild ascent. No, I'm not. Oh boy, okay, so it's... God damn it. Can you... God damn Can you... Okay, I'm gonna... Can I use my invincibility? No, I can't. But that ninja can dance around. He's really happy. Alright! While climb to the attic. Part of the take attempt two. It's part of my attempt to take two. Uh, okay, this is um. Why is this here? <laughs> Tabarnak de chien sale de merde. Really? Like no. Uh, take three. So you can go through the wood, but you can't go through the donuts because although they have a hole, it is purely ornamental. It just it makes this jump the world another world's most awkward jump in the universe. Like how? Like it's not just me, right? The fact that you. And I hate the fact that it gives you the illusion of maybe having another chance. Can I bounce high enough from this turtle? No! Ugh. Come on! Give me at least a respawn! Like, why can't you go in back in this pipe in order to reset these 
blocks in position. Or at the very least, make them generate back like these guys seems to do. Like that's the world's weirdest nonsense oversight. I mean, I get it, like, if it was an NES game, probably it'd be just die, but as I've said before, I'd rather just die, honestly. The fact that you just survive and then have to kill yourself slowly in the spikes just kind of, like, adds insults to injury. And, oh my god, what do you even do here? Uh, 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 uh. No! God, I didn't even not tell him not. Things are super dead. See, like one. No, I knew it. Why is this so one? Tabarnak! <laughs> triggered an unhappy an unhappy cow. So let's try not to have that happen. Alright. Oh my god. How long is this thing? Ugh. Ugh. funny <laughs> so okay so let's make this clear i do not have anything against difficult games i don't have anything against difficult segments and levels you know this y'all know this what i have against is hiding a difficult one try or your style over segment Behind another annoying to do, made purposely like this segment. Both together, just like. And I bet that if you beat this level in one shot both ways, it's super great and amazing. But unfortunately, I only have my own experience. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Uh... So, I'm... Other than Oroquello, who didn't say anything. Uh... Looks like the judges kinda agree with me. I, um... This... This took a while to wreck. I... Yeah... Fluffy Kitty, man! They gave you some pretty harsh toys to play with.